Of course I have an inner critic, I think everyone does, it's just a matter of beating it down. Simplifying a painting for me overcomes many, many creative blocks. And I use my systematic process to go through my painting to help solve problems that my inner critic might not actually know about, but tells me about through anxiety, through frustration, and that general awful feeling you get when you're at a point of a painting when you don't know what to do. The first area I look at is shapes. Is my shape correct? But next I will move the value. Am I driving the viewer towards the value that I want? Next comes temperature. Temperature is very important in terms of the warm and the cools, where to place the warms to draw the attention or push the cools to draw the attention away. My last step in my process I look at is edges, especially when I get off the focal point of the area. So I'll soften a lot of my edges around where I'm not supposed to be looking. That'll help drive the viewer to my focal point. What the process I use does, it engages me in my painting. It keeps me there solving the problem. The best thing about your inner critic is it helps you learn because you find out when you're frustrated. And so you're just working through the frustration with a process. It gives you success on your painting, gives you the good feeling. So when you're painting, the critic comes out less. And when it does come out, then that tells you something. And if you work through the process again, you'll find a solution. And for me, that's what stifles the inner critic.